family welcome to my channel decorate with panas how are you don't you love to decorate our houses and make it pretty and beautiful but it will never have the same impact until the lighting is right and that's why investing in good lighting and lamps is very important but often they are very expensive if you're living in a rented house it's not worth investing so much money in your rented space also as you would know from my how to decorate small spaces video i'm not a fan of floor lamps because they take up precious floor space which in a tiny home is anyway less and that's why i like wall lamps in today's video i bring to you a diy wall lamp solution which will look absolutely beautiful but will be super cost effective and we will make it literally out of paper and cardboard and the best part is you wouldn't have to drill any holes you can just fit it right into your existing bulb fixtures this diy is going to be easy affordable and sophisticated towards the end i'll also tell you how to style the same lamp in two different ways depending on your needs so please do watch the video till the end with that let's begin for making these lamps we would mainly need cardboard and thick printed paper and a few other basic art supplies we wouldn't need anything fancy or expensive to make these very beautiful lamps i'll show whatever i use during the diy The first thing that we'll make in the lamp is the base which we'll make out of cardboard and we'll also give it a very beautiful aged bronze look. I cut a rectangular piece of 32 cm by 20 cm. Now the edges of this cardboard piece are not very smooth, so we are going to do a hack. We are going to cover all the sides with masking tape so that it has a smooth edge to it. Masking tape is perfect for this job because it also has a matte finish, so the paint will also go on very smoothly on this. So just like that I covered all four sides and cut the excess off. So now our piece of cardboard our base is ready to be painted and I'm taking bronze acrylic paint for the painting job. So now I'm painting it using broad horizontal strokes and it was very easy to paint because cardboard takes on paint very very easily. And it just took a few minutes to cover the entire base. Make sure to cover the entire base and even the corners and edges very properly. One pro tip here is to just maintain one direction of the brush strokes otherwise it might look patchy. After painting the base just leave it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and it should look like this and as you can see it already looks really good. But I wanted to take it a notch up. I basically wanted to give the look of a brushed bronze which also has these black patches. This almost aged brush bronze look would really cool and more realistic. To achieve that, I'm mixing a little bit of black in the bronze color that we have and mixing it really well so that it forms almost like a dark bronze color. Once the color is uniform, take a dry brush and take very little color on the brush and start painting almost like dry strokes. Dry brush strokes with very little color in it will create the illusion of that brushed bronze look that we saw earlier and it will look more realistic and it will have some more character to it. Just dab a little bit of color and then spread it thin across the sheet to create this brushed look. If you want you can skip this step as well but I like adding such details to my DIYs so I am definitely doing it. It makes our DIYs a little more interesting and gives them an edge. Please comment to let me know if you like seeing such details in my DIY. After this is over, this is how it looks and see it looks so interesting, so nice that brushed bronze look is looking so good. I love it. Now to fit it on the bulb holder, we will need to cut out a circular hole out of it. For this, I am marking the center of this cardboard box and then drawing a circle which is the same diameter as the bulb holder. You don't have to be exact here. A approximate size is also fine. I had this extra bulb holder lying around so I used that to mark the circle. It came to be about 6.5 cm in diameter. Start by making small indents inside the ring and then gradually deepen the cuts to take the circle out of the cardboard. We want the cut out to be slightly smaller than the bulb holder. This way when we put it on the bulb holder it will have a really tight snug fit and will not move easily. During this process be extremely careful because it's a sharp object and always keep a spare piece of cardboard below this so that you accidentally do not scratch your table. I just check the size of the cut out by putting the bulb holder and it's just too tight right now. So I scratched it and made the size so that it just fits right. With this our base is ready and look how pretty it looks with this brushed bronze look. 
Now let's move on to the second step which is making this paper lamp shade. This paper is half A2 size and I'm marking a 20 cm height so that it matches the height of the lamp base and cutting it out with a scissor. One thing to note is that this paper should be slightly thick so that it retains its shape. Handmade paper would also work and most stationery shops have it. The next step is to attach this lampshade to the base and for that we will fold it on one side and attach it to the base using Fevi stick. We are gluing it on the back side so it won't be visible. Fevi stick is really easy to work with and with paper it works like magic. After one side is glued, it's time to check the shape of the lamp. Basically, just check the curvature, how the shape do you want. I'm going for a semicircle shape. So I just check the shape and then I basically just cut off the excess paper. And I glued this side as well on the base using Fevi stick. Now it's my DIY and you would never expect it to be super simple. I always put some X factor into my DIYs. So it's time to add some decorative touches. Basically I'm adding two decorative wooden sticks on both sides of the lamp to just elevate the look. Now the color of these sticks was looking a little pale so I decided to stain it to a dark color and I basically stained it quickly. And now they look so pretty. This dark brown color looks so nice and rich. And then I also glued these using Fevi stick. These are very lightweight, so even Fevi stick was fine to hold them in place. I applied inner Fevi stick and then pressed them real hard so that it kind of sticks really firmly on the sides. With Fevi stick, I think it took a little more time to dry, but you can always use a hot glue gun as well if you have it handy. And with that, our lamp is ready, and I'm so excited to put it on and see how it looks on the bulb holder. Excited! So yeah, moment of truth, let's see how it looks on the bulb holder. The fit was a little tight on the bulb holder so make sure to press it really nicely so that it stays firmly on the bulb holder and does not move with any kind of a wind or fan air. So now our DIY lamp is installed and it's already looking so smart, so chic, so sophisticated. I'm loving it. Let's put on a bulb and try it on. Wow, look at this diffuse light. It looks so nice. It has such a nice, soft, almost velvety, creamy light. I'm loving it. It looks very beautiful. Now just for you, I have a special bonus styling idea. You can also turn this lamp by 90 degrees and it will change its shape to this teardrop shape which will also look very smart and very pretty. So you're effectively getting two styling options with just this one DIY. Isn't it a win-win? So this was today's video. Our lamp is ready and it's looking absolutely pretty and beautiful. And it's such a practical, affordable solution that all of us should try to make one of these for our homes. Please let me know in the comments which part of the video was your favorite. I love reading your comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because I keep sharing videos about home decor and DIY. So if you subscribe, you will not miss any of my videos. My videos are very simple, easy and fun. So you'll have a great time. With that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.